Ian Covey asks, Alien movies. Ripley opens up an airlock in space on two separate occasions. Wouldn't opening the airlock kill her pretty quickly? Yeah, so what you mean is you're in a vacuum. And yeah. And no, it won't, you just hold your breath. And you're not there long enough. You won't to... explode or freeze or anything? No, it's, it's some tension on your skin because there is pressure inside of you. Air will come out of your lungs mm -hmm. because the pressure balance wants to equalize. So your cheeks will puff out and you got to let some air out. But if you're just trying to open an airlock and spend a little bit of time in there to get your suit, to put on your boots, to, to close another door, plenty of time to do that. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. How long? So like 5, 10 minutes or like 35 minutes? Well, uh, no, because you can't hold your breath for 10 minutes even in I regular could. I mean, I would die. Yeah, yeah, as long as you can hold your breath, you're, okay. you're good to go. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, so it's it's been overplayed, right? okay? Yeah. Whether you explode inside of it. Right, go. Okay, David Pilland asks, physics limitations in the Iron Man movies. Is there a theoretical power supply that would be small enough to carry and still provide adequate power up to output? Uh, certainly. Uh, Matter-antimatter drive in his chest would do almost essentially everything he wants. Yeah. Uh, except what would the antimatter touch to contain it in his chest? That's the big problem. Okay, Alexandre LaChapelle asks, Will the artificial intelligence we create ever reach the same level we see in sci-fi? I don't see why not. Look, already our artificial intelligence beats us in chess. It, yeah. it, it runs faster than nuts in Jeopardy. So, yeah. sure. Well, I mean, why not? Sure. It doesn't sound dangerous to me. Yeah. The, the, the tricky part is, will it one day ever become diabolical? Or and, enslave us or use us as food. Exactly. And, and the I'm, answer is maybe, <laughs> but probably not. I'm, I'm skeptical. Good. Yeah. Hayden Jurista asks, or Jurisa, Hayden Jurista asks, could robots really be programmed to follow... Asimov's law of robotics, and if they could, do you predict lifelike artificial intelligence in the near future? We can program computers to do anything we want. Even speak Spanish? Period. Period. And so this whole thing about uh, Asimov's three rules, and one of them yeah. is the robot cannot kill the creator of the robot. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And so the point is you can program it to do anything. Like, so, so yes. name one robot we have that kills people and <laughs> call it a drone. Yes, exactly. And a robot doesn't have to look like people. It just no. has to respond to... It just has to kill. It just, uh, you know, planes today are robots. Yeah. You're, the monorail in airports are robots. There's nobody driving the damn thing. Not you know, even a bunch of kids? Not, <laughs> nobody. So, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't see why... Uh, yes. They do anything we want. And here's the thing. Whether they, take, whether they achieve consciousness on their own, mm -hmm. I don't know how that can happen unless we program them to achieve consciousness on their own. So, so that'd be nice If you nice program to just to perform tasks, okay. That, and that's, I think, all we should let computers do. Next. Okay. Oops. There. <laughs> Okay, uh, Larissa J. Levy asks, is there any possible way to make a radio out of coconuts? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, well. But great question, and you gotta love the professor. Yeah. On Gilligan's Island. Oh, now it's switching to questions from Twitter. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you need some metal to make a... You need some conductors. You need something to conduct, and coconuts barely conduct. No. <laughs> but you can make a, what, an alarm clock out of a potato? Uh, power it? Yes, but, power it. but you, there are wires sticking into it. You need metal. You right. need conductors for that. Next. Okay. So Rachel Fender asks, In line with Futurama's predictions of the future, is alcohol a viable substance for robot fuel? I... Uh, Brazil yes. has, most don't know, the third largest aerospace industry in the world. Uh -huh. It's a $20 billion industry. It employs 18,000 people. And they invented an airplane that runs on alcohol. On like pure, cognac or? Pure, pure alcohol. So here we are drinking alcohol on airplane, our airplanes, and they're making airplanes that can run on alcohol, which is essentially solar-powered. Because alcohol is derived from plant products. Plant products get their energy from the sun. Nice. Okay, and Wally. -E, after seven hundred years in space, humans lost bone mass. Wait, wait. Wally -E is that sorry this? or Wally? -E? No, you're right. Uh, sorry, Ben Apperson in the movie Wally. -E. -E. Thank you. That's the part. Sorry. After seven hundred years in space, humans lost bone mass and gained fat. Would their bodies really w work back on Earth? No. 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 You. 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 Look. Our bodies don't work 
on Earth, when all you do is sit and watch TV. Right, let dying. alone yeah, be yeah, in space. Yeah, you go in space, and then you gain, you get fatter if you don't exercise. So if we sent uh, enemies to outer space and brought them back in like 20 years, we could beat the crap out beat of them. Beat the crap out of them. What you do is you spin up the space station, you spin up the craft so that you have artificial gravity, right. and it solves the problem entirely. If we had them in super gravity rooms, we could make them very powerful. You, even stronger, correct. Yes, well, but That's no this. different from just increasing the weight on the, in the gym. Right? Mm. It's no different. No. Okay, next. It sounds more fun. We're running quick. Okay, okay. last one. Uh, Jeff Delok asks: In Dune, energy shields allow slow-moving objects to pass through, but prevent fast-moving objects. Is this possible? I, uh, I, I've never figured that one out. So I, I'm not because say, it's made up. Uh, <laughs> so that's fine. Let me not say that it's not possible. I, I Unlikely. Say, there are things that you can move slower through, faster than trying to move fast through. That, that's true. Yes. Like really viscous liquids. Yes. If you try to go fast through, the, there's a, a partial vacuum that picks up behind you and slows you down. Yeah. Like it's, it's like the muck of mud. and But uh, move slowly. Uh, it just <laughs> goes around. We got to go. Uh, Eugene, thanks for coming. Again. Thank you so much Start for having off. me. Cosmic Queries, sci-fi.